Hi folks. Well, I'm just going to do an upgrade on my uh, pool heater, solar panel pool heater. So I thought what I'd do is show you what the setup is at the moment and then the, the upgrade that I'm doing. Um, so at the moment, although it's not connected, we've got these two pipes here, these two bits of hose pipe. The long one you see just here, um, that one goes in the water, okay? And this one here is the return. Okay, so we've got two hose pipes here. Ignore the bamboo, I'm doing another project. And it goes along the edge of the garden, all right? And disappears over here. Okay, so from here, let's have a little look. It picks up and it switches into two 20 millimeter diameter uh, black irrigation pipes. And then what we do is we go around the back of the house, ignore all the rubble and everything at the moment. This is this is the second part of the upgrade, okay? But we'll come to that in just a moment. So yeah, these two black pipes, it's not as messy as this usually. Um, around the back of the house here, I've got this I've got this this panel. It's two meters by two meters. Um, inside this, there's a hundred meters. <coughs> excuse me, a hundred meters of the irrigation pipe coiled up. Um, but, but at the moment, all I could find was this, this uh, fiberglass, um, corrugated fiberglass cover. This is, this is gonna go, I'm gonna get rid of this because although it kept the, the cavity, if you like, in here, the cavity um, heated up, um, it is not good enough, you know, it needs to be glass, okay? So I'm going to change that. All right, so the two pipes then that I showed you, the two black irrigation pipes, came under here, okay? And under here. Uh, obviously, this is the feed to the pump, okay? That this, this is a little pump. It does 17 litres a minute, which is quite healthy. Um, so to draw the water in, pump the water up, up this pipe, and then into the cavity, round the 100 meters of pipe, and then come out here, okay, back down this other pipe, the other, the, the other pipe, and then back to the swimming pool. Okay, now, <laughs> this actually worked okay. I mean, uh, the, the temperature difference so it's a bit windy out here the the, the temperature difference um, from the water going into the hose okay the the pickup pipe to the water coming back to the pool was about was about six or seven degrees you know uh, and and I was pretty happy with that um, but 17 liters a minute um, I don't know I, ju I just thought I could improve on that it was quite a healthy flow um, and five degrees, yeah, I was, I was quite happy with that. Um, so now the new system is is this in here, and what we've got in here in the engine room is I won't go into too much detail, but you see that pipe. You can see it disappearing into the wall. Um, oh, let's try and get a bit of a better angle. Okay. Um, this this pipe here, see this pipe here. All right, so that's coming from from the pump to the filter, okay, and then it gets separated. It goes into the chlorinator and then back into the pool here. So I've taken the section off it, and I can divert some of the water up here, okay, and into the wall. Okay, you see you see the pipe disappearing into the wall there. All right. Now that pipe goes underground, and so that pipe goes. That pipe goes underground. Okay, under here, under this little bit of the garden, and under here, under here, under here, and then they come out just here. All right. Let me just take off this bit of covering here, then you can see you can see what I'm talking about. Then, okay, here are the two pipes. Now these two pipes, they went round the corner and they went into the basement of the house, 
and they were connected to the heating system which was okay but in the summertime you want to cool the house and heat the pool and my heating system will only do one or the other and because we've got so much like sunshine over here in Turkey it seemed crazy to um, not take advantage of that of the, of the sunshine you know so the pipe I pointed to in the pump room just there it's this pipe here so I've just put these little 45s on here and here okay onto this grey pipe and that grey pipe it's 40 millimeter comes up here as you saw before and up to the pool heater now as I just explained earlier I've got one coil in here of 100 meters of the 20 millimeter irrigation pipe what I'm going to do tomorrow is get another coil 100 meters and lay it on the top um, so what we'll have is the, the, the grey pipe okay will be we'll have like a Y connection okay and that'll branch off and that'll feed both pipes okay the two 100 meter um, irrigation pipes and then the outlets okay will be the old pipes here so as one was feed and one was return now they'll both be return okay so this is the new feed from the pool and this will be the new return but as far as putting one coil of wire over the top of the other I, I understand it's, it's not ideal because obviously one will shield or, or shadow the one underneath um, but I, I'm, go, I'm going to build a new shed which is going to be five meters by three meters so I'm going to put new a whole new run of irrigation pipe on top of that um, but for now um, I'm just going to take this old fiberglass off put um, a, a glass panels over the top okay and what it should do it should heat up the cavity so that the coil of wire on the t of, of pipe on the top will get the sunlight but with a bit of luck it should create so much heat in there that it should heat up the coil underneath so in the next vid well on the end of this video hopefully I'll have it up and running and we can take some pool temperatures and then we can take some temperatures of the of the return okay and then we can see what the differential is I mean if I can get five degrees again five to anywhere between five eight degrees difference I'm happy with that because the flow rate will be quite high it probably be double that it was before um, so if I can look at like 30 or 40 liters a minute um, but with a difference of five or eight degrees then I, I don't know but for me that's quite healthy okay so let's I'll get this sorted out I'll finish off this bit of uh, plumbing work and tidy up a little bit and then we shall see what the results are hi everyone okay right this is the quick update <laughs> I'm laughing because it, look at the state of it uh, what I've done is I've put 100 meters of uh, the black plastic pipe over the top of the, over the, top of the other one uh, this isn't me you know this looks quite messy but uh, but this is just um, to see if the whole thing works if it works then when I build my shed I can like I said before I can get the coils up there make it a bit neater all right but for now it's just to see if this this whole system is going to work um, I cobbled something together under here uh, you can see this is the pipe that's coming from the pool uh, from the pump under pressure comes this T and then we got one pipe goes into the into the unit just above me I and mean, then you've got another pipe just here see it cools off that goes into the other pipe so these two pipes here um, go into into this into the box and then you've got two pipes over here see them just there they connect to this right and then you've got the, those two pipes carry on as I said before down the side of the house past all the mess look and then back into the pool all right so I've got some temperatures so let's go and have a little look and see what the temperature difference is I'm hoping I'm hoping four five six degrees difference that'll be because it's a little bit breezy today I mean we've got a lovely blue sky 
Okay, and we've got a lovely blue sky, but there's a bit of a wind going on, so I'm, I'm thinking it's, it's cooling, just blowing across the top of the pipes. Uh, when, when, of course, there's all glass over the top of this, it should make it a bit like a greenhouse, you know, and, and uh, trap some of the heat. So we should see some improvements in temperature. All right, but let's pop round the other side now and let's take a look at some, um, some temperatures. Um, so at the moment, you can see the flow rate is quite strong. It's coming out quite fast. So yeah, I'm happy with this, you know, two, two pipes from the coils around the back of the house. Um, let's have a little look. So at the moment we're looking at what, 28 degrees. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. You know, 28 degrees coming out, that's good. There's, there's no panel, uh, there's no glass panel yet over the top of the solar, pa of the coils of wire, uh, coils of pipe around the back. And, um, and there's a little bit of a breeze going on today, so that's going to cool, you know, that's probably going to cool the pipes down the fraction. So that's 28 coming out the pipes, and let's see what we've got coming out here. Uh, this is, this is the, I've just put the sensor near the inlet. You know, this is the where the, the takeoff is that goes to the panel around the back of the house. So we've got 28 there, so we've got what, 24? Okay. You have to bear with me, it's a little bit slow, this uh, little thermometer. Yeah, okay. So what's that? Yeah, 24 degrees difference at the moment. Uh, but, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, just over four degrees difference between what's going into the solar panel and what's coming out. So, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty okay with that. Oh, it's dropping a bit more. Yeah, I'm okay. I, I think I've said in another video, you know, if I could see something like five or eight degrees difference, I'd, I'd be happy with that. So, yeah, I'll, what I'll do is I'll, I'll get some glass panels and put them over the top of the, uh, over the top of the, um, the, the, the box around the back and then we'll see what happens okay and I'll update you a bit later hi everyone okay so I said I'll do a quick update yeah it's been working very well um, yeah the hose you can see they're just like dangling in the water there the two returns and it's been working very good yeah I've, I've been seeing around about a five degree difference now the temperatures warmed up a little bit uh, outside the ambient temperature uh, which, which helps, helps retain the heat a little bit throughout the night. I still haven't finished my tidying up down here yet. I've still got to do a little bit of bit of concrete work. Okay, um, but yeah, it's been working okay. Let's have a look at this bit. Yeah, so it's working okay. I said I was going to put a glass panels over the top. But look, you know, I'm going to build the shed, so uh, so I'll probably do that next time, if at all. Really, I've, I've been quite pleased with how the um, how it's worked. You know, the temperature differential without a glass panel on top. So I probably won't bother even on the shed. I'll just get a metal roof up there, then get the hose on top, and, and that'll probably do quite nicely. And I can have more hose up there as well. You know, this is what two 100 metre coils, so. I could probably have, you know, another 100 metres or so up there, so um, I, I think this would be fine. Um, okay, so I'll see you on the next project. Cheers, bye!